Welcome back, everybody. Well, Gulfport's uh, Juneteenth Freedom Week kicks off Wednesday, week-long celebration. Here to talk about all the events that are planned uh, citywide in Gulfport for the Juneteenth celebration, Executive Director and Founder Bobby Hudson. So good to see you, Bobby, and thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. I was commenting, I don't know if people can see it on TV, I love the Coast 228, our area code, of course. Are you planning to incorporate that into unity in the community on the coast this week? Most definitely. That is always the goal to showcase unity within our community. And so I just wanted to represent for all the Juneteenth celebrations that had that started this past weekend going into this upcoming weekend. So I'm just really excited. We're celebrating throughout the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Yeah, I know Biloxi, I think, over the weekend had a an array of events to commemorate uh, Juneteenth. What do you have planned in Gulfport? Yes, so we have five days of activity taking place here in Gulfport and we kick off on actual Juneteenth, June 19th, this Wednesday on the step at, in, at City Hall. I'm sorry, not on the steps anymore, but at City Hall with the city commencement. So the mayor, Billy Hughes, will herald in the week and we'll present some proclamations to our living legacies right here. Later that evening, our Griot Society, which is basically our community elders, will facilitate a church service. Well, I think that's there. great. But that is Wednesday. That's the actual date of uh, uh, June. Juneteenth, June, yes. June 19th. Yes. And uh, that's going to be, as Bobby said, over at City Hall. And you got a bunch of other stuff coming up, too. Yes, yes. So I'm really excited. On Thursday, we're doing a cultural day camp for our children in the community. And so it's so important, considering that our um, we currently don't allow children to learn about their heritage in our school, in our public schools. And so giving them that opportunity. Bobby, is so let important. me jump in there. What do you mean we don't allow? So uh, I don't want to start a whole political conversation. Uh -huh, yeah, that's, Go that's ahead. Not what we want. Go so ahead. Basically, yes, yes, I, I will continue on. But it is important that they learn of culture and heritage. Um, on Friday, um, our scholarship contest has actually moved to take place during our festival on Sunday. So that's mm -hmm. really exciting, making that an entertainment piece. Um, Friday night, we have a Daiquiri's and Dashikis event now, which will be at the Press Box Daiquiri Lounge. And so that is just a fun way for the community to come out. Saturday is really exciting because we're doing a citywide day of service. So that means the entire community is coming together, churches, businesses, uh, municipal and government offices to do different service projects throughout the city of Gulfport. And then Sunday, we wrap up with our Freedom Festival at Westside Park with over 70 plus vendors. And so many things going on. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot. Goes into it's a lot. Planning? <laughs> how, I mean, how do you get all, how many people do you have kind of that you're getting together? that have come up with this sort of format and making sure all of these things go off without a hitch. Yes, we. I have an outstanding committee of about eight individuals who are really dedicated to putting on this Freedom Week celebration. So last year, it was three days and we've transitioned to five days. So you can imagine that, that workload that's been on us, but it's really rewarding. So. Okay, it begins Wednesday, June 19th. It's Juneteenth. Bobby Hudson, always good to see you, man. And thanks Thank so you. much for being with us on the four o'clock show, okay? Thank you for having me.